Good morning guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel, it's me, Narina. Hi! Today, 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 okay, so two weeks ago I got some new shoes from Jonac Paris. They were kind enough to send me loafers, whoops, which are very chunky, which are giving me a lot of Wednesday atoms, if you want to ask me. So, I decided to do a video on how to style those babies. These are actually size five, they're a little bit big. So I added extra sole inside. Even at the dollar store, you can find some soles just to add a little bit of like cushion. So we're gonna see how to style these. Today's video is gonna be like how to style the loafers, but it's also going to be a little bit of a wink to 80 slash 90 inspo. I don't know why, but all the things that I picked were kind of giving me like either the nanny or friends and I was like, okay, you know what? So I'm just not gonna fight this and I'm just gonna do this video saying, yeah, it's kind of 80s, 90s inspired, deal with it. So the very first outfit we're gonna start with is this skirt. It's kind of like flowy, it's not super close to the body and I've decided to pair it with this little crop top cardigan. You got a little bit of a cleavage, you get a little bit of like sweetness from the fact that it's kind of like off white and I thought it would look so, so good together. It does. And I added those little white socks that are ankle socks. That's the thing with loafers, with socks, the outfit looks so good, it's so comfortable. It's kind of like an effortless girly in the city from the 90s and I really, really dig that vibe. You can technically use any skirt. I feel like it's better if the skirt has like some sort of a print because I guess I like it better like that. It just looks so good in my opinion and I really, really love it. The good thing is if you do not want to be wearing a crop top, which I totally understand because not everybody is comfortable. So the thing that you can do is actually pair it with an oversized shirt. This one is like my dad's from the 80s. <laughs> it's mega long. This is probably a size large. The fact that it's oversized, I actually did this with the with the sleeves because I feel like if the sleeves are long, it's kind of making it like a little bit of a trash bag situation. So I'm trying to create dimension by actually shortening the sleeve. It just looks so good together. Again, it's kind of like effortless. It's giving <laughs> lady from She's All That and I'm literally digging that style. So yeah, if you're not comfortable with the crop top, you can go with the shirt, you can go oversized, you can tuck one side of the shirt and I think it just looks so, so nice. Speaking about the oversized shirt, I had to do this, you guys. So I decided to create another outfit with the oversized shirt. So it goes with this little skirt. So skirt is like actually a skirt, which is kind of like a mini skirt if you ask me. This one is is high waist and it has shorts inside. So this one is from Zara, probably from two years ago. It just looks so, so good, massively good. It's kind of giving you school vibe. It's giving you Britney Spears baby one more time. But at the same time, personally, I'm not super comfortable with mini skirts. I love the skirt option and I love the fact that now it's like normalized. I really, really love it. So you can tie the shirt on your belly to create like this very school girl outfit or you can actually leave it oversized again and to me it's kind of giving me Serena Vanderwoodson from Gossip Girl but the kind of like college version so you can either go from like school girl baby one more time Britney or you can go to like Serena from Gossip Girl your call girlies and I just think it looks so so nice together again I feel like it's super easy to style the loafers because whether you decide to go without socks or with socks it just looks so so nice you can actually go with over the knee socks. It's also like super trendy right now. I didn't have any, which is why you can't see it. But it's also a super, super good idea. Now we're gonna be keeping the skirt, but we're gonna be adding one extra layer, which is this wool sweater from H&M, which is why this outfit is like perfect for like spring, fall, or the beginning of winter. The fact that the sweater is so comfy, it creates this, again, little dimension. You have 
like comfy oversized sweater and the mini skirt so I just think it looks so good together I'm gonna be putting on some socks but you can totally rock it barefoot it will also look super super nice the next outfit is actually an all black outfit and it's with high waist like fake leather pants these are kind of long super super high waist I'm gonna be pairing it with this sweater I wish this sweater was a little bit more oversized but this is like a cashmere sweater and I would have loved it to be to giving like boyfriend vibes because I think it would have looked much better but I wanted to have an option with pants where you could actually go without socks with the loafers which is the idea behind this look it's super comfortable going to the city going shopping even like having drinks these leggings pants they're super stretchy so they're actually super comfortable they don't make that weird noise like <laughs> I actually love this look. I think I would pair it with an oversized vegan leather jacket and I think it would look bomb. Hear me out. This is actually some biker shorts. These are ribbed and I'm pairing it with this little crop top, like stretchy on your belly. And it has a little bit of like shoulder pads, so it's giving this very like V look. I'm gonna go with some socks with the loafers. Because the outfit is like all black, I actually wanted to create some color and I decided to add some smiley socks. You can find like any colorful socks from Forever 21. Just thinking gives it a little bit of a twist and it's super comfortable. This is my <laughs> walking the dog type of outfit. They're not like too flat. It kind of makes me taller, so loving it. The inspo behind it was obviously Lady D because she's the queen of biker shorts. Moving on. The next outfit is something that we kind of like saw all over social media because I've seen so many girlies going for things similar to that. So the next outfit is actually like a very retro vintage shirt and it says no bad vibes it is so cool it has like this little like black stuff all around and it's super super cute and I'm actually pairing it with this very long skirt this one is ribbed as well I think it's supposed to be like a high waist but I've decided to wear it as like a low waist skirt but it actually looks so so good to be honest like it's kind of giving me like 10 things I hate about you and I love that movie so I've actually decided to add socks to it so these are my you guys are gonna laugh these are like my egg socks. These are like sunny side eggs and I've decided to like pair it with the loafers and I think it's just so so cute. The next outfit it's actually some denim jeans because I had to go for denim jeans. These are my Levi's and they are ribcage straight in 24. I like when denim jeans are hard not when they're like soft and stretchy. It's giving me that 80s vibe like so so bad and I've decided to pair it with a print shirt this one is my Whitney <laughs> shirt and I just love the combination of the two because I think it looks so nice and I'm wearing the loafers without socks so literally barefoot and I think it looks so so nice the very last outfit you guys is actually uh, gonna be this dress so this dress is custom made my sister made it for me I'm gonna wear it with little ankle socks. It's giving me like cleavage. It's giving me a back moment super close to the body. It's long sleeve. It's ribbed. It's comfortable. I do know that they have similar ones online. I'm obsessed and I love it. There's nothing I would change about the dress. And I think that it's nice to have an option of a dress with the loafers because it's like a different way to style it. It's a different way to accessorize it. It's giving me kind of like Wednesday, but like a little bit older. So I kind of dig that. And I think that if I I had to rate my favorite outfit it would probably be the skirt with the little crop top because that's kind of like my go-to and I'm actually looking for another skirt like that because it just looks so so nice the shoes are high quality they're pretty so yeah these are all the outfits you guys let me know which one was actually your favorite hope you like this video don't forget to subscribe and comment and I will be back next week bye